And it's interesting if you if you look at companies that fall into crisis, <clears throat> particularly a, call it a, a governance uh, related crisis, whether it's around product safety issues or issues of corporate culture, for lack of a better term, uh, the focus goes right to the board. And one interesting thing, and I'd love your thoughts on this too, is around the board leadership structure that if, if such a company has a combined chair CEO, one of the first things they do is separate the roles at, at that point um, because they're in crisis and they want the CEO to, to be able to just focus specifically on the crisis and, and, and they separate the roles. And that has led to some conversations with, with proponents of um, uh, having separate chair CEOs that why wait for the crisis, right? The, that a CEO should not be chair of the board, should be uh, strictly focused on on running the company. Did, I'm just curious, your role on or as lead director, but also do you, you know, the general mantra is, you know, there's not one size fits all and you have to look at the individuals and, and, um, uh, and how a particular board functions, but at the same time, do you, do you have to think of leadership structure in anticipation or perhaps to mitigate the risk of, a, of such a crisis? So I, I have, um, I've, I've operated in, in every one of these roles, as <laughs> on executive chairman, as executive chairman, chairman and CEO, CEO, but not chairman, uh, lead director. And I really, I go back to the best advice I ever got on this topic, which is from a lawyer named Dennis Friedman at Gibson Dunn. This was in 2003. And I was stepping into the CEO role uh, in, in uh, the company where the uh, board had separated the chair and CEO role just a few months earlier under my predecessor. And uh, the structure that we adopted, I think is a great model. And that was a charter for the role of the non-executive chair or lead director. And it was identical. And so what that did was make that distinction between the title of chair and the title of lead director, uh, the, you know, a distinction without a difference. Um, so it was completely cosmetic. I don't know any CEO who would, who, if given the choice, would rather not be chairman and CEO. There are just so many people still inside a company, outside a company, who believe that there is a difference between being chairman and CEO and being CEO only. So my view is, why not empower your CEO for those people who think there is a difference by, you know, titling them chairman and CEO? but having a lead director whose function is equivalent to what a non-executive chairperson would be. And it's so easy to do. And those, that role is, is really important. It's to set the agenda for the board meetings with the CEO, to lead the board in the executive sessions, to be the one who is you know, the principal conduit between the board and the CEO when there's some message that needs to be delivered you know, one-on-one -on -one as opposed to by the entire board, somebody to be a sounding board for the CEO who, want, who wants to talk in advance about what is the sentiment of the board? How ought we to handle this thing? Or maybe there's some you know, particularly difficult situation that needs to be dealt with on the board, a disruptive director, a director who really doesn't, doesn't you know, acknowledge that it's beyond time to have stepped off of the board. So that the position is incredibly important, but I really don't buy into the idea that that somehow, you know, titling a CEO, chairman and CEO leads to some sort of rogue behavior that is not in the interest of shareholders. I, I actually think to the contrary, it, it gives the CEO some additional degree of authority and it removes potentially ambiguity about who is actually in charge of the company. Uh, and who is this, you know, where you separate the roles, you have somebody out there whose title is chairman of the board you know, XYZ corporation, people inside the company will wonder, well, what is that person's job exactly? Is that the person making the decisions, you know, day to day? Is, is that person running the company? Really? And who is the CEO person? What's the difference? The world just doesn't really understand this 
you know, as well as the corporate governance focused people or shareholders do. So I say, you know, don't, don't get hung up on this difference. And this charter where it's literally the same job, regardless of what you call it, I think is a very good solution. 